In this video we're going to take a look at how to make a backup image of your entire drive in a Windows or Linux based system. In order to do this we need three things. The first thing is obviously you need your system. So I'm just using a Dell laptop here as uh, my example machine. On top of that we'll also need a external hard drive. So I'm just using a My Passport USB hard drive here. So any external hard drive will do, whether it's USB, FireWire or so on, but you need an external hard drive to save the image onto. Now the third thing we need is a copy of Clonezilla. Now it's free to download off the internet, so uh, let's take a look at that. What we are going to use to create our backup image is a piece of software named Clonezilla. Now it's a completely free piece of software, and it's probably one of the best imaging um, programs I've used on the Windows and Linux platform. Bit of background information on Clonezilla, features and so on, system requirements. So limitations here, I just want to quickly go over. Destination, destination partition must be equal or larger than the source one. Um, we're only going to be able to create a full backup of the actual disk or partition. We won't be able to add to the backup or um, implement differential or incremental backups. The online imaging and cloning is not implemented, so that's fine because we're backing up to an external hard drive anyway. RAID is not supported. Image cannot be explored or mounted. So, for example, if you <coughs> sorry, if you have created your image, uh, you can't actually explore the image and restore one or two files from that image. You can either restore the entire image or nothing at all. However, um, you can use other programs, so it gives you a link here, you can use other programs and other, me other methods to actually explore the image if you do need to just drag out uh, one or two files rather than restoring the entire image. Um, also Clonezilla with multiple CDs or DVDs is not implemented. Um, all files have to be on one CD or DVD. Again, that doesn't really affect us because we're going to be backing up onto an external hard drive anyway. So the one we're going to be using is here. We're going to be using Clonezilla Live. So we click on Clonezilla Live. Um, and we need to download the ISO for the CD or DVD. So we go to here and we've got our ISOs here. So you want a, a stable release, so for example this one right here, and that will give you an ISO, and once you've downloaded the ISO file, use a program such as uh, Nero to burn the ISO to a disk, and once you've got your disk, we can uh, continue with creating the actual image. Okay, so I've burnt my copy of Clonezilla to disk here, so we have our three things ready now. Um, what we're going to do now is connect the hard drive to the system, power the system up, make sure, making sure it's connected to a power source if you're doing this on a laptop or netbook. So connect it to a power source, connect the drive to the system, and insert the disk. Now most drives have a, a small pinhole bar on the optical drive where you can insert a paper clip to pop the disk open, if not just switch the, uh, the system on, insert the disk and we are going to boot off of this disk. And I've just entered the BIOS here where I'm going to go down and just check in the boot sequence. So we can see here it will boot off of our optical drive first. So now we're going to insert the disk and escape and we're going to exit setup and this time we're going to boot straight off of the actual image of Clonezilla. And there we go, so Clonezilla is started. Enter to continue. And now we're going to load up Clonezilla, the actual program. So this will take a minute or so to completely load up after which we'll be ready to uh, select our destination drive 
and create our image. Okay, so we should almost be there. Shouldn't take too much longer. So here we choose our language. So we're going to choose English and then it will say select the key map. We're going to simply select don't touch key map. Once we get to our next screen, we're going to start Clonezilla. So now we're starting that. We're going to select the option that says device image work with disks or partitions using images. And we're going to use a USB local device. So you can use SSH servers, Samba servers, NFS servers and so on. Um, but we've got our external USB hard drive connected, so that's the one we're going to be using. So we're going to select local drive. It's going to say at the bottom, do you want to use a USB drive as a Clonezilla image repository? And please insert your USB device. Now we've already inserted our USB hard drive, so we click enter again to continue. Now it's just going to go off and find our external hard drive. And here we go. So now we need to use a mount a drive as the repository. So this is where the image is actually either going to be read from or created to. So we're creating the image, so I'm going to select my 500 gig passport hard drive. Okay, so once we've selected our USB hard drive, we get to this screen, which is our actual drive, and what we're uh, choosing here is an, a folder or wherever we want to actually save the drive to. Um, so here are all of the directories on the actual drive, so I'm just going to place it in the root of the directory, so I'll just choose the top directory in the local device. And we press enter again to continue, and then it's setting the term as Linux. So we're going to use beginner mode rather than expert. Now it asks us what we want to do next. So do we want to save the local, the entire disk as an image, or do we want to save one partition as an image, restore the entire disk, restore a partition, create a recovery ISO zip, or exit? So at this point you want to either save the entire disk or save the partition. So we'll just save the entire disk as an example. So we're gonna, it says to put a name for the actual image. So if I just type in backup, okay. So that's what our image is going to be called on the actual disk. Now we need to select the, the disk that we're backing up from, so the disk we want to create the image of. Now this is the only hard drive in the actual system, so that's the only one I can select. So I'm going to select the internal hard drive, enter to continue, and it says are you sure you want to continue? We click Y for yes, enter, so it says if the action if it fails or hangs, you need to check to see if the disk is full, and we'll leave it to create the actual backup. So it's saying it's got about 10 minutes to create the backup because I haven't got too much saved on this disk. So it tells you the time elapsed, the time remaining, the percentage complete, and the transfer rate. So at the moment we're going at 1.26 gigabits per a minute, uh, gigabyte a minute. So uh, it gives you all your information there, so you just leave it until it's finished and uh, we'll come back to it once it's completed its backup. Okay, so we're at 99% now, I've only got a few seconds remaining and uh, the backup will complete. So there we go, the backup has 100% comp complete. So it took 13 minutes or almost 14 minutes as we can see from the elapsed time in the bottom corner. So it successfully cloned the device. So it's performing its uh, post backup jobs here. And we press enter to continue. And we've got our options to power off, reboot, enter command line prompt, or start over. So at this stage I'm going to reboot the machine and we're going to boot into Windows 
and take a look at the actual, uh, just to make sure it's created the actual backup file on the hard drive, the external hard drive. So one to reboot. Now it will tell me in a second here to remove the disk from the drive. So it's stopping all of its services. And it's just ejected my disk, so I'm going to remove the disk from the drive. And then press a key to continue, and it's telling us it will now restart. So once it restarts into Windows, we'll take a look at the, the image it's saved. Okay, so we're now in Windows, as you can see. So I'm using Windows 7 on this uh, system. I'm going to go into my computer. Oh, it's just popped up here. Here we go. So it's the My Passport drive, so that's my external hard drive. We're going to open the folder to view files. Um, we can see my folders in here, and there we go. So there's the backup I've actually created. So as you can remember, we just named it Backup, so it's called Backup. If I go into there, it's created all of these backup files. So we can be sure that our backup is complete. Okay, so we've boot off of the Clonezilla disk and we're just waiting for it to start up, so going through the same startup procedure as before. Okay, so again we're going through the same options, we're going to select English as our language. Don't touch key map. Start Clonezilla. And then we're going to again work from disks or partitions using images. Again, we're choosing our local device. Enter to continue. So it's going off to read our local drives. We're going to select the external hard drive. At this point, you usually always select the external hard drive because you're either going to be saving the image to that drive or reading from that drive or restoring an image from that drive. So we select our external hard drive here. Remember, we saved the actual image in the top directory in the local device. So we'll select that directory, enter again to continue. Use beginner mode. At this point, rather than saving partition, we're going to restore the disk. Previously, I saved the entire disk to the image. So we're going to restore the entire disk from the image. So we click Restore Disk. Choose the image file to restore. Remember we called it Backup. It automatically appends the actual date and time that the backup was taken. But we can see we named it Backup. So we're going to select that one. We're, now it's asking where we want to restore the disk to. So bear in mind it says all data on the entire disk will be lost and replaced. So we're going to select our local drive, press enter to continue, then it says are you sure you want to continue, so we click yes, and then it asks you a second time. When you're restoring it asks you twice whether you want to actually overwrite everything that's on the disk. So it gives you warnings here, so warning, 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 existing data in this hard disk will be overwritten, all existing data will be lost. So we've got a warning here and a warning here, and it makes you agree to that twice. I'm not going to actually go forward um, with this point because obviously my system is working okay. But you click to yes to this, and it's very similar. You'll get the elapsed time, the time remaining, and the percentage complete. And once that's complete, you just reboot your system, and your system will be back exactly how it was from when you originally created the backup. And that's really all there is to it. So that's Clonezilla and that's used to back up your Windows or Linux system to an image, uh, image file on your external hard drive. Okay, so hopefully we found that video useful. Um, if so, please rate, comment and subscribe to the channel and we'll have some new content up shortly.